I have a great lesson for you today. This is a continuation of what I drew last week on the board. We we looked at the magic square of three by three called the low shoe. And inside the low shoe, we can see that there is a golden triangle which links magic squares to uh, divine proportion. And what, so the name of this title is, is called the Phi Rhombus in is tiled in the magic squares. Now we know that a rhombus is like a diamond, but what we're going to do now is we're going to put many rhombus, which so the plural is rhombi. So the real title is Phi Rhombi in the tiled magic square. So here it is there. So there's one one rhomb, rhombus there, but because there's many, it's called rhombi. And it's just such a beautiful pattern, very Middle Eastern design. It's in the golden proportion. So how do we get that? So I'm, to get this pattern here, I'm, I've actually drawn the magic square uh, nine times. So here's the magic square, which we worked with 618, uh, 753, 294. And when we, drew, when we drew the pattern as it is, I call it zero degrees. That means we're drawing this pattern as it is. We're not, we're not tilting it yet. So here's my first nine dots. Now, so to draw this nine times, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So even though it's nine magic squares, notice that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've created a seven by seven frame or grid to capture the nine low shoe. So I'm so this is going to be six, one, eight. This is seven, five, three. This will be the two, nine, four. So I'm only working with those nine. So so uh, let's just draw it. One, two, two to three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, and to nines here because there's nine. So eight to nine and we remember we drew to close the circle in from nine back to one to close it so that's one that was one pattern and we know that this was a diamond so i'm going to shade it in now so that's called a five rom a golden triangle but when we put the two together because it's actually an elongated diamond so what we've just done, drawn now, we're going to draw draw this nine times. But the rule is, um, every time we draw it a second time, instead of just tiling it as it is at zero degrees, I'm going to take this and turn it around at 90 degrees. So I'm going naught, 90, naught, 90, naught, 90, naught, 90, naught. So that's what we've got here. We've got, so zero degrees, we just did that. So the next one is 90, zero so it's called alternate. We're alternating the magic square, the low shoe. And these are all degrees. So now I'm going to take. I have to take this and turn it around. So to turn this at 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. I have to just tilt it around. So it's going to go six, one, eight, seven, five, three, two nine four you get a good stretch in your neck so let's draw it again so now this is six one eight so that's six there six one eight seven five three two nine four so i'm gonna go uh, one to two that's one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Seven and the eight is six one eight. So there's the six one eight. So that eight is over there. Six one eight, and we go back down to here and we close it. So now we've done it twice. There's another golden diamond here. So I'm just doing this very quickly because I I don't want to spend too long. But you can see that it's it's. It, it's a bit of creativity, it's really, and you're going to start seeing really beautiful uh, symmetry in this. So now, so now we've done this one, we've done the 90, we've got to go back to zero. So that's six, one, eight, seven, five, three, two, nine, four. So we, we do it again. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and back, back to one. So I'll quickly shade in the fire rhombi, where the fire rhombi is. It's a very elegant, the golden, because it's in the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence, all that represents is elegance. This, the golden ratio, if that's eight, that's 13, like in the pine cone, represents mathematical beauty. That's why it's called the divine proportion. So we've done this one, zero. So zero, 90, zero. Now we're gonna do another 90 here. We're gonna do this one here. So I have to start again. Six, one, eight, seven, five, three, two, nine. That's a nine and that's a four. So I start from one to two. That's one to two, to three, four. Five is always in the middle. You know that if five wasn't in the middle, we wouldn't have this all adding up to the same. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and back to nine. And then we close the circle. And then we shade it in. We're looking for the rhombi. There it is there. And we're going to draw it again. So now um, we're going to do another one here. Maybe we'll just get to here and complete it because I don't think I can do all this in the 10 minutes. So we've done the nine, we're going back to zero. So now we start six, one, eight, seven, five, three, two, nine, four. It's like a phone line to God. You just remember it. It's your connection to source. It's the first mathematical harmony in the universe when nine numbers all add up to the same so let's do the last one that's one two three four and this is a long diagonal four five six down seven eight nine back to there and then i close it from nine back to the beginning and we can keep on continuing but you can see that when i shade in when i shade in this next phi rhombi rhombus you're going to see a beautiful octagon so let me just shade that in see if you can see the octagon now i just showed that in i love working with chalk it's so fine okay now you have a squint your eyes a little bit and you'll some you'll start seeing some geometry in there um, oh, look, there's even an octagon in the middle, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's, so it just represents beauty, elegance, um, symmetry. And this was used by the Islamic culture in their temple art. This is the mathematics of um, a higher source, and they used it to express divinity. So you could see that if I was to continue that, we just did one, two, three, four, five. But if we did the full nine, you'll see that if you did the full nine, that's what we would look like. But if we kept continuing the tessellation, this matrix would be octagon, 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 octagon. You'd get a whole series of beautiful octagonal geometry. And I think that eightness comes from the fact that usually the Arabs in ancient time, they took away the center. They left it empty. What, why did they leave this empty? Because it was the void. It was the source. It was, um, it was the, the pentacle, which is the divine proportion. It was Godhead. So normally, if we take away the central cell of five, we're left with eight numbers. There's eight around the void. And the reason why it's important that in China, they created the eight trigrams from these eight numbers. But have a look at this. You can join that one and nine is 10, seven and three is 10, four and six is 10. And you can see here that two and eight is 10. So that when I draw the opposing pairs, they're all balanced around the center point, which is called the Bindu. It's the mandala. It's about the return to the center.